Hey guys, I'm the Devil, and welcome back to the Devil's Realm. It has been a while since I've recorded an episode, I know that, because... Well, in all fairness, I've been working my butt off so that I could take a break from work and focus on YouTube and streaming a lot more. Which is exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing 100 straight days of videos and 100 straight days of streams. The streams have already began, but the videos have not videos begin now. So... Yeah, I'm waiting to play Sky Factory 2.5. That's why I waited weeks. I was hoping it was going to be out. But it's still not out just yet. So, should we feed them? No, we don't need to feed them. It's not out just yet. So, that's going to have to wait. But that's going to be coming to the channel very, very soon. But, yeah. So, if you notice, our levels are at 34. we got 34 levels. Which means we are close to, in. well, we are at the levels to be enchanting. And we really, really should be enchanting. To try and get the enchants that we want. If we look in... Where is it? In here, we have five diamonds. I don't know if I've shown you that or not, but we have five diamonds. We have enough for a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. Now, I want to get fortune and looting. The other thing that I want to do is get some books. So, today, what I want to do is I want to turn this little corner here into a nice little enchanting room, like a little library. So, we want some books. So, we need some cows... And we need some... I thought that was a cow in this fence. And we need some paper. So the papers... Oh, I thought we had a sugar cane farm. Did I? No, I haven't installed up to find yet. I need to get on that. But I was out adventuring, and I found a village. I believe it was over in this direction. So I want to see if we can raid that for some books. Because it would just make a lot more sense. I just wanted to, to, to make sure that my mic was picking up. Oh, I'm having issues. There we go. Issues adverted. Apologize if the frame rate was very low there, guys. I just noticed that there was an issue with the recording. It's starting to become night. We do have full iron armor, so... If I remember rightly, the village was over in the Acacia biome. Like I said, it's been about a week, so you guys will have to bear with me. There is still something that is causing my frame rate to go haywire. It shouldn't be. It really, really shouldn't be. Hmm. Let me just try changing that setting over and see if that helps out any. There's a village. I didn't really want to be here at night if I'm totally honest because I wanted to save the villagers. Didn't want them to die. But yeah, over the course of the past couple of weeks while I've been away and busy, I have actually managed to get to a point where I have my own office now, which is something that I didn't have before. Before I was in the dining room, and is this got any books in? No. But they're actually. Oh, there's another like village here. Is this the same one? I don't know if that's like two that's generated close to each other or same one. Either way. Oh, there's the blacksmith. I did not notice this when I was here the first time. But to be fair, having said that, I didn't actually look around it the first time. I wanted to do it on cam. So let's see what we can get here. Wow. Two iron chest plates. And is this obsidian? Wow. So we got quite a lot of obsidian towards our nether portal. And some books here. So let's go and grab those books. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? You, for 35 paper, you'll give me an emerald. And um, what's this? Frostwalker 2. Sir, you are actually worth keeping. We got Frostwalker too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come over here, sir. Come over here. Okay. While he decides whether he's gonna come over there or not, we're gonna go ahead and just grab up these books. So I actually like the fact that he's got Frostwalker too. Now he should be safe down there, I believe. Okay, the rest of the village is this way. This is one big ass village. Didn't actually realize how much it was. How big it was. Let me in. Toolsmith. Coal for that. What did we get here? An iron shovel efficiency one. That's actually not bad just for seven emeralds, but I still wouldn't take it. What are you offering? An iron helmet for four emeralds. Leather for emeralds. And he'll give us that now. I find it interesting to see what the villagers are going to offer. Let's go back out. 
What do you offer? Just an iron axe for eight. Yeah, I suppose emeralds mine. They aren't that easy to come across, to be fair. Oh, you little monkey. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Let me get on my sword. Oh, God. We, we, we. I can't hit him. I keep hitting the potatoes. But hey, we'll take up the whole ten of potatoes. What is going on with my frame rate? I apologize for this episode being a bit sketchy, guys. I really, really do. But there's very little that I can do about it. Guys, I'm going to take a short break. Yeah, and we I are be... back. Sorry about that, guys. It seems that my CPU just keeps on climbing. Whenever I click record, it just continuously keeps climbing. So I don't know if there's like a, a leak or something. I don't know. I don't think a leak could do that, to be perfectly honest. But... I've had to reduce the settings now, so I apologize. The webcam isn't no longer HD. The webcam is just old school. <laughs> but it's the only thing I can do to get the recording to record for us. I like the speed at which the health regens now, but it doesn't seem like we're going to find anything else in this village. It's just a load of little houses. But we do have a nice little start on our library and our enchanting table, which I do actually need to build. I did find some more diamonds down in the cave, but I haven't mined them yet. I want to see if we can get fortune first. So, I noticed the hunger doesn't stay as long either. So, the hunger's going down. Maybe we'll have to get some sort of gold farm set up in the nether. I don't really want to do farms, if per se, like iron farms and stuff, because it kind of ruins the game. But, I don't know, the gold farm seems... Seems fun to do, fun to use, you know. The good thing is we do have cows, so perhaps we should work on some sort of like pen or enclosure or something. Is there an enderman outside a house? Question is, can I take an enderman? I don't know, you know. No, we can't. The stupid new combat mechanism makes it impossible. Hey, we got another chick. That's our first death of the series, guys. That's our first death, I believe. We lost those 35 levels. No. At least we don't have to rush any longer to go ahead and get... Oh, I thought my helmet broke then. At least we don't have to rush any... More to go and get that. We can actually work on a barn. And he didn't even leave an ender pearl. And I'll probably grind some levels off cam anyway for us, guys. This recording has been plagued with bad things. <laughs> so. Let's go and sleep. In fact, it's not just a recording, guys. It's been this day. Today has been one of those days where just everything that could go wrong goes wrong for me. Oh man, doing my hair was a nightmare. <laughs> but there we are. So, I don't really want to put the barn too close to this house. And I'm thinking that I would like to use acacia wood for the barn. Make it a little bit more detailed and colorful. Just trying to think of where I want to put the barn. See, I want to bring this fence sort of like around the house. And I do kind of want a pathway going from the house to the barn. So I'm just trying to think. I mean, I don't want the barn. The barn isn't a, like a main feature of the village. And I want to put something like big up on this like a little hill here. Not a big build, but like a major feature of the, of the thing. Like the town hall or something would go here. Is what I'm thinking. So perhaps we could do the barn. Oh, there's a cave there. Let's see. Perhaps the barn would be nice. Maybe over there, just like between the, you know, between the the, the um, what are they called? Trees between the trees. I'm thinking that that might actually be like like here. So, 
Then again, it's not going to really go with the same build if I do it out of a Casey wood, is it? As it would if I did it out of dark oak wood. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get some Casey wood, I'm going to get some dark wood, and I'm going to get some dirt, and I'll catch you. Alright, right guys, back. we're back. I'm sorry, it's been a long time. It's been a long, long time. Um, well, it's been about 20 minutes. It's still a long time. So, we was originally going to put it over there, but I kind of like this area better, so I've cleared this area out. Now, I don't want a huge barn. I don't want a small barn. And I want to make it out of a mixture of dark oak wood and acacia. And I have the design in my head, kind of like what I want. And the first part of that design is going to be the two. The entrance way is going to be two. Actually, do I want to make that bigger? I think, you know, I think we'll have that bigger. I think we'll have it four. Like that. And then we can just go up, like so. And then maybe three. Let me have a look at that, see if I like that. I'm digging that. And then it would be the acacia wood like that, which kind of goes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking that. But I kind of want to do this bit first. So I want this to go up four, and then it would come up one, two. And then, so what did we do? We went up to there. And then we did. Are we on the right level? I don't feel like we are. I feel like that's the right level to, to be doing that on. We'll put that there, that there. And then... I don't know. I think that needs to go up a little bit more. If we just knock these out first, then you get a rough idea of what I'm trying to accomplish. These up. I hate it when blocks are like floating around. I'm, I'm a pick them all up kind of guy. Actually, no, I think we're going to go with it like that, to be honest. I kind of like that. So I kind of want to bring this over in a very similar design. So bring that to there, and then we leave it to. So if we do that, then we do that, and then we do... Oh no, because that's only going to be one. So if we do that, and then we do that and that. What does that look like? Oh, I do like that. And I like the way this wood sort of blends in and all. The only thing I don't like is that it seems like it's just one strip. Um, hmm. I think maybe we should go one higher. Do I have any dirt with me? No. So we're using this to scaffold over. So I think what we're going to do is, is... I only have this axe on me. But it's alright because it's getting close to the night time. And that kind of worked out pretty good. So I want to go up one more here. And then I want to do a... We'll just do a one. And then... A two. And another two. Finish that off with another two. Let me just... Let me just break down here and then we'll have a look at that from the front. Then we'll go and sleep and grab another iron axe. I'm, I definitely have got to have enough iron to do it. So I don't think I'm going to get all of the barn done in this episode. But I want to get functional this episode. So if we build the outline, we can bring the cows in. 
Yes, I like. But I think that I do want to make one small change, which we'll make in the morning. Let's go home. Let's sleep. And I'll catch you guys back. Okay, guys, it is the morning, and we are back here. And now I want to change just one little thing, which I think will make it look a lot better. And that's, if I bring this down, one is what I'm thinking. Like that, what does that look like? Hmm. Nope, I don't like that. I do like it, but I want to make another small change to see. So we go up to, then across to, then I want to go up to here. So we'll get rid of that. And then we'll go across two oh that isn't gonna work out is it because this is the um I wonder if we just did stick to that there like that how that would fare let's get rid of this dirt can't wait till we get our tools enchanted and efficiency and it's just all so much quicker that's gonna be the hype moment for me but I don't want to rush into anything. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm thinking that could come down actually and be the same level. But I don't know. I kind of, I, I actually kind of like that. So I think I'm going to repeat that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six up on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we go across one and up. Is it? It's up two, isn't it? Here, yeah. And then we go across two. And then is it? I've forgotten what it is. I gotta go and look. I gotta go and make sure that I got that right as well. So yeah, we've gone up two. We go across two. Now it's up. Another two, and then one. So let's do that. So here we want to go up another two, and then another one there, and then that should be it all done. That should be the front done anyway. Oh. Let's fill in these. I do want to add some windows in into it, but oh. like I said, um, the main per main thing I want to get doing it main thing this episode is get this operational so we can start breeding the cows because that's what's going to take some time. Can I reach up from there? Can I clip it on the side of there? No. Curse you, game. With all the evil and infinite rage of my power and wisdom. Yeah, I don't really have that much power and wisdom. Okay. So that's going to be my barn. I don't want it to be too big. Like I said, I want it... To, it's nice to have a tall barn, but not a big barn. So, let's see. If I bring this back... We say we go five, so this is a four gap here, and then we do another one, two, three, and four, and then place. How big is that? I like that. And then we can go one, two, three, place, one, two. I mean, is that, that in line? Yeah. And then we place this one here, and then this one here. And we've got the outline of the barn done. I don't know if I actually want to push this back another... I don't know, because we could have, like, I want to have one set of animals here, maybe cows, in, like, a pen here. And then maybe a few sheep in a smaller pen here. Hmm. I think we'll, I think we'll move this back another four. I guess it's going to be bigger than I initially 
anticipate it. So one, two, three, and four. Place. Let me just double check that's four. Yes, that's four. Okay. And there. And there. So let's place that down and that down. So now we've got the overall idea of just how... So I want, I'm going to take these up three for now. Because I don't think I'm going to have the wood on me to finish this barn. And like I said, I want to get it operational more than finished. So... Is that it? We, we're out of dark oak wood. Okay. Well, if I just pop in these... And I definitely don't have the material that I need for the floor yet. So this barn will be a working process. I mean, our house was a work in progress for quite a few episodes, and it still is. It's still not 100% finished. I'm still not entirely happy with the column in the middle. I'm still deciding whether I like it or not. And at the minute, I don't. So we may change that up for another material at some point, but I'll probably do that one off camera because it's only going to be a small change. So... We ran low. Okay. Let's put that down. So I think what I'm gonna do is let's get a with my crafting table. Let's make this into sticks. And let's make that into gates. I don't think I'm gonna need it. We'll just get twenty one gates. I actually need some fences as well. Not fences, um, some gates. I, I, I'm saying these the wrong way around, guys. Please forgive me. I know not what I do. Okay, so I think we're going to have... It won't harm to switch the sides. Do we want a single gate? I hate having single gates because... Thingy, but I think we're going to have some cows here and then on this side some sheep. And then we've got a nice little place at the bottom here to have a ladder going up to another floor. Although I'm not sure how we're going to do the other floor. Yeah, but... We need some wheat now. I've got the cows. I've got the cows, so that's the important thing. Let me eat up. So let's go and grab some wheat and lure them cows in. Let's try a cheeky little jump there. Let's see, you look done, and you look done. You look done, you look done, and you look done. I possibly will leave this on for a little bit to allow this wheat to grow. I like the way that the water sauce looks. Like it's, a little, like it's slightly flowing. But guys, what I'm going to be doing is... This episode is going to be daily until the release of Sky Factory 2.5, in which this series, this series will be put on um, the back burner. Uh, that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be episodes. I know a lot of YouTubers say that and then they don't do episodes. But what it just means is I'm going to get up every day and I'm going to be recording Sky Factory 2.5 first. And if I have the time after I've recorded that, this will be a second video that day. But it really kind of like all depends on the day. It's getting close to the night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sleep, guys. And we're back. back in yeah. the morning. Now what we're doing is we're heading off to... Get a cows, which I know where are. I fenced them in not too long ago. But guys, I also have something very special to end this episode off with. An idea that I've been tinkering with all episode, which is why I'm not going to be finishing the bar in this episode, even though there probably is time. I'm not sure how long this episode is at the moment. This is going to be a little bit difficult to get across here. I hate this freaking chunk glitch. I need to get um, Optifine on here. That I do. I definitely need Optifine on here. I have it on like all of my others. I put it on everything. I just didn't install it on vanilla for some reason. Oh cool, we need bones. Okay, so let's let the cows out. Let's get their interest. I am um, cows, are you mad at me because I penned you in? Cows still like wheat in 1.9? I'm tempted to say no. Finally! That took a lot of time. That took way longer than it should have. 
Okay, let me just change my view. Farm a devil. Oh, McDevil had a farm. Yeah, if you're wondering what's happened to the Stardew Valley series, I now have been streaming that instead. Oh, peachy. I've been streaming that over on my Twitch channel. Usually on the weekends is Stardew Valley. Through the week, I usually play a game, a different game. This week, we're playing through The Legend of Zelda Master Quest, so... I will probably be putting an edited version of that on the channel, but I don't know, because you know what Nintendo are like. All Let's Plays from now on, by the way, are going to be its sole video. Just going to be one video um, detailing the Let's Play. So the entire Master Quest Let's Play. I may actually break Master Quest down into two videos, because it makes sense. Link Young and Link Adult. Or maybe break them down into temples. I don't know. I may break them down again. <laughs> I'm still undecided. If it makes sense to break the videos down, I will break the videos down. But if it doesn't make sense, like Lords of the Fallen, that didn't need to be broken down. But stuff like Call of Duty does, because you have separate missions and people will be looking for different missions. So I need to think of what's going to... Can I do that? Oh, I'm going to make the barns over here. I'm bringing them to my house. You guys ain't welcome to my house. Let's take them to the barn. So yeah, guys, I'm taking a sabbatical from work for... Well, I work for myself, so it's not so I can pretty much change the time. But taking a sabbatical for about a hundred days to try and get YouTube and streaming on track. It's something that I've wanted to do for over a year now, almost two years, and I've always not had enough time to put into it, as much time to put into it as I would really like to. So I'm trying to make that happen now. I'm also going to be launching finally a channel that I've wanted to launch for some time. But more information on that later. Okay, okay. Stop cock blocking me. You don't deserve to mate. After that cock block. Yes, repopulation. So, we've kind of got the barn here. Um, I should probably stick some torches up. Let's stick a torch there and a torch there. And I think we'll stick a torch here and a torch here. I suppose we could always actually put another gate in there, to be honest. That would make perfect sense. And just to stop the cows escaping, I'm going to do it like that. There we go. I like that. There's that little barn with a little cow pen in it. I don't know if I'm going to put like a little, maybe a little horse pen here. Or maybe we'll just have like, because I'm going to have some ladders here going up to, a, to an upstairs floor, which is going to contain chests where we're going to store some of the stuff that, I want to store some like acacia wood up there, some dark oak wood, some of these fence panels. And I want to start storing things that the building materials that I use for the projects in that place as well in a chest. Just in case Creeper comes along and blows them up, I, I've got the building materials in that build already to fix that build there and then. So that might be something we, we do. But anyway guys, we're going to go off now and um, make the first dent in a new build. This build is going to take the entire series to complete. And will only be completed when I quit this world. It will not be completed before because we will continually be adding to this build. We're going to make the first addition to that build right now. And for that build, I need signs, I need a chest, I need some caster, and I need a flower. And I think that we will go with the first nice flower that I come across. Which I think we'll go with those white ones over there. What are they? Daisies. So. We will add to this as time goes along. But I want to put the build. I think I want to put the build. I don't know where I want to put the build. I think we'll put the build over here. I want it to have its own place. Like a huge place because it's going to... Hopefully expand. There's going to be one of these in each of the places that we build. So yeah, I like this because it kind of like overlooks the area. It's up here. We can put something up there. We can put the main building there, but I just want to make one addition. We're going to make the addition. I think we'll make the addition here. I like this area here. So 
we're going to go ahead and dig a too deep hole, which we're going to put chests in. Can you guess what the build is yet, guys? It should be easy by now. We are going to stick some... Can we make a face? Let's just stick some bones in like that. And some coarse dirt. And a flower. I don't like that positioning. Give me that. Stop doing that. I'm going to look at it from a different angle. Maybe that will help. It just likes to go in that particular place, doesn't it? Okay, let's try and place you there. Fine. Fine. Go there. See if I care. Cobblestone wall. Um, I don't know how this is actually going to work, but... I'm not very good. I've never done a grave before. Oh, right. We can't actually put that poppy there because the sign's going to... Thing in it. Here. Ooh. Here. Rests. The devil. Devil the first. From day 001. To... Day 42. Actually, we can do this on here. To zero four two. Enderman was a cause of death. Oh no. Cause of death. Enderman. I just realized I put cod. That doesn't attach to that, does it? Can I put this on top of here? I can, but it doesn't look as nice. I think we're just going to go with a simple signpost. For the grave. Okay. Here rests the devil the first day one two forty two cod cause of death enderman and there rests our remains This is going to be our graveyard, and this graveyard isn't for just for our deaths that we have. If you guys have someone that you love or a pet or something, and you want me to mark a grave for them, so they'll be forever remembered, let me know. We'll do it for famous people that we know, love, and I'm going to do it for famous people who start dying now onwards. And the way 2016 is going, this graveyard is going to be full by next week. Bit worried though. I might die, you know. Legends dying this year. Nah, I'm just joking. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. So if you've enjoyed the video, please consider leaving it a like and click that thumbs up button if you want to see more. No, click that subscribe button if you want to see more. I'm the Devil. Check out all of my links in the description to various forms of my social media, and you can watch me stream my stream every day now live on Twitch. We're doing a hundred day stream challenge on day eight today. We're playing Master Quest. So. Come and join us. I'm the devil, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.